Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. I'm going to be doing kind of like a DIY with me. Um, I am in different lighting and in a completely different space, but today we are going to be DIYing Disney Park Map coasters. I'm really excited to try this out. Can't wait to see how it works and how it turns out. Uh, what you need are some tiles. We went to Home Depot and just got these ceramic tiles. They're four and a quarter by four and a quarter. These are the glossy ones. Um, I'm sure some unfinished ones would be better. I might have Rebecca sand these down a little bit so the maps kind of stick to them. But we have nine of those. We're doing two sets and then one tester. These were marked 64 cents each, which is like dirt cheap. Uh, when they ring them up, they ring up eight cents each. So we got them for 77 cents total which I'm still shook about. Like, we left the store 20 minutes, still shook. You'll also need some Mod Podge. We're going a little bougie and we got Sparkle Mod Podge and that's gonna be to adhere the mats to the tiles. You'll need a cr clear acrylic sealer to spray it to make sure it's all sealed and good. Again, my goals. Uh, these were both $7.99, I think. And we used a 20% off coupon on them. You'll need your map. So I have four different Disney Parks maps here and we're gonna cut these up and put them on you'll need a paintbrush for the mod podge and then cork or felt to put on the back of your tiles so that way it doesn't scratch anything up and we're just going to cut these down so let's get started okay so i'm going to just go ahead and start by cutting our cork down um this is a sheet from michael's it was how much was it back it was $1.99 and it was in the paper, like the loose paper section. So I'm going to cut this down to four by four. Our tiles are four and a quarter by four and a quarter, um, but it's okay. It'll just have a quarter inch of loose on each side. And I'm just gonna use a paper trimmer for this. trimmer out so these are now all four by four and I just want to show you guys I'll probably just hot glue it and like look there's really not a lot of overhang so it's okay this will protect your whatever you're setting it on and stuff like that so I'm gonna set these to the side now for the maps what I want on my map or on my coaster is the map the park so I'm just going to start by cutting off the word part of my map my paper trimmer does have a light, so I can just line it up on the edge. You can also just use scissors for this. Scissors, a roller, a pen, whatever you want. Okay. maps to six and a quarter inches that way I can I'll be able to fold it over and there will be some overhang on the back but that's how I'm going to do all of my maps all right so now that my maps cut down to six and a quarter by six and a quarter I'm going to turn it over and I'm just gonna fold each side up an inch And this is just going to create an overhang so that way I can wrap it around the tile. I'm going to do that on all four sides. have a scoreboard you can put this on there and just score it um, on each side at one inch. I don't feel like going and finding my scoreboard so I'm just using a ruler and marking it up an inch. Um, and then I just went and I just took my fingers and just 
made sure that all of the edges are nice and creased. And then I'm just going to chop off the corner. So there's a square here that's created and I'm just going to cut at that. Yeah, diagonally. You don't want to cut off too much, like you don't want it to be like super like this because the corners will not show, or the corners will show. Um, this won't cover the corners of the tile, but it really doesn't look that bad. So I'm just gonna cut off these. And I'm gonna do that with the rest of my maps. So now that all of our maps are cut, I'm going to go ahead and start with, I'll just start with the Magic Kingdom one. All right, so we have our Parkly Mod Podge. Can you guys can you see the sparkles? I'm just going to pour just a little bit into this bowl just for ease because my paintbrush is kind of big. All right. So I'm gonna start by just brushing this on here. Y'all, this is a DIY with me because it's my first time doing this. I'm acting like I'm a professional. I'm, I'm definitely, this is my first time ever doing anything like this. <laughs> is done this is done but I'm gonna go ahead and just mod podge over the top too we want it sparkly I also just want to make sure that it sticks side and I'm gonna start on the next one to um, film this part but we just took tiles outside cut up a box and laid it flat and laid the tiles on top and then just sprayed this and we'll probably do two oh it says apply four to five coats so let dry 15 minutes um, so we'll be taking this out and reapplying four to five times all right, this is coat four. Making sure to spray all the edges. Ooh, the stuff is strong. You'll want to make it sure that well, you do it outside for sure. Yeah. All right, so one more coat and then we'll flip them over and do the back. They're looking like so far. Super cute. Our coasters are done. Rebecca and I were just comparing like where our map placements are. Our Epcot ones are completely different. But Magic Kingdom and Hollywood are pretty similar and Animal Kingdom's off just a little bit. I did not center mine very well at all, but I think it gives it a little bit of spice. Um, one thing that Rebecca did do that I didn't do is on the front of the map she cut out the park name and Mod Podge it on. I think it's called Deck Podge. I don't really know. And then last night she took a hot glue gun and just hot glued the cork on. She started in the middle and just worked her way around by like lifting up the corner, putting glue down. So it is completely glued down. There's no real like lifting. So these are good to go. And that is how you can DIY do it yourself. <laughs> 
Um, and that's how you can make your own Disney Parks map coasters. I have a ton of maps, so honestly, might be making a few more sets of these. And for how cheap they are, like, come on now, why not? So, I hope you guys enjoyed.